Hi guys, and welcome to Don't Starve Together. This is, um, Don't Starve Together, uh, the beta edition. So it is the online multiplayer version, not just the single player original version of the game that came out. So I'm setting up a server right now, and I'm actually uh, just waiting for some people to join, but I'll get into the game. Um, I did play it a little bit before, um, since then I d now know a bit more about the game. Although I still haven't survived for probably more than 20 days ever. I am playing using a controller, but the game is pretty buggy, honestly, with the controller. Um, as you can see here, I am trying to change tabs back to player, but it will not let me. And now it's not even working. A lot of times I will get stuck in the character selection screen, so hopefully that will not happen here. So, there are a bunch of characters for you to choose from. There is Wilson, who is the typical um, person. There, uh, and they each have like special abilities. And it won't even let me change characters. So there's Willow, um, there is Wilson, the gentleman scientist, who says, I will conquer it all with the power of my mind, and he grows a magnificent beard. There is Willow, who is the fire starter, who says, things are so much prettier when they burn. Um, there she is resistant to fire damage, and she can craft a sweet lighter and a cuddly bear. She loses heat when insane. So there are a couple things that you have to keep track of, your sanity, your health, as well as your um, hunger, and um, heat and cold also comes into play. If you get too cold, you do take damage, and if you are too hot, you also take damage. I usually play Willow if I, um, when I'm playing has nothing to do with me really liking to set things on fire or something like that. Uh, next up we have Wolfgang, who is the strong man. I am mighty, no one is mightier. He gets strong with a full belly, and he is afraid of the dark and monsters. Wendy, the bereaved. Abigail, come back, I'm not done playing with you. She's haunted by her twin sister, who's dead, obviously. And, um, she's comfortable with darkness and doesn't hit very hard. WX-78, the smallest automaton, empathy model, not responding. He's not a picky eater, charged by lightning, damaged by water, and can upgrade with gears. Wickerbottom, the librarian, shh, no talking, knows many things and self-publishes books. She can't sleep and hates spoilage. Woody, the lumberjack, that's a nice tree, eh? has a lovely axe, has a terrible secret, and celebrates Thanksgiving at the correct time. Wes, the silent, can't talk, has trouble staying alive, and practices balloonomancy. Wigfred? Wigfred? Wigfred, the performance artist, a test of my incredible acting, excels in battle, gains power from fallen foes, and only eats meat. Weber, the indigestible, we can overcome anything. She's a monster, can befriend spiders, and grows a silky smooth beard. Actually, I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. I think it's a girl. And I got a mod. Oh, I was looking through mods for characters, and one of the cool ones I found was actually a jinx, the loose cannon. Rules are meant to be broken, like buildings or people. And a lot of you guys know jinx is one of my favorite characters in League Champions, so... I've never played her before, and I'm going to test her out. She loves causing destruction. She's crazy and has a doctor's note. 
and has lower hull. Her character model is pretty nice, actually. Let me get rid of this cursor. Hold on. Alright, so, um, I'm gonna start just walking around and grabbing some basic resources. Flint is really important early on um, to make things like an axe, which I can do now. And now I can cut down trees. Sometimes I start a game and I cannot find uh, flint for a really long time, and it's really shitty. So I'm going to cut down some trees here. Just start getting resources. Usually I don't actually pick up the flowers because I don't know what to do with them, but I guess I'll pick some up. Just give me one second, I'm going to check um, make sure that everyone has passwords to So it is getting dark soon, as the message just said, so I need to get some supplies to uh, make a torch or make something that will help me get through the night, because darkness is actually really scary for us. Um, suck it. Oh shoot. I did not mean to do that. I may have just awkwardly changed the window. My windows are getting all messed up here. Alright, it wants to be like that. Not too hungry yet. But I need to gather food. Food tends to be a limiting resource. A lot of the time you just end up actually starving to death. Night's coming soon. I think I will. Usually, early in the game, you just want to keep making torches so that you can continue exploring and finding places. But um, I'm going to actually just set up a base right by the gate. I should probably do that right after I cut down this tree. So, any people that join will have a place and not die immediately. So, actually, if we go down, it's a pretty nice place to put base. I think that's the edge of the map. Oh, shit. Alright. 
I didn't realize the portal actually had light. Let me go down to the bottom. I think we are on the tip of an island kind of thing. Shane was killed by darkness. I think he just joined the game. Oops. So let me just clear out the edge of this map. And like I said, yeah, it is, it is like the tip of the island. Wow. So, I didn't know this uh, area gave light. If I had known, this would have been a lot better. My game now will not let me all tab. Okay, that's interesting. Sorry about that. Technical difficulties. Some reason. So, there we go. We are all good now. No, my my seeds, my berries. No. All right. So what I want to do is start making some tools so that we can get all the resources that we. My friend died, and I'm not sure if he actually knows how to revive himself. Let me just check. I'm not really even sure where he is. I didn't even see him pass by. These things are really dangerous, and I've never killed them before. They have a lot of things that we need. I do need gold. Gold is the resource we need. And I am running out of space as well. You can typically find gold in rocks. They will have like golden veins and things like that. Or if you're lucky, you can also just find them lying around. Though I'm sure the chance of that is rather low. So much food here, it's great. What I'll do is just collect some food and hope that someone else finds gold, maybe. Those frogs are really, really mean. They don't like people being around them. I'm gonna clear out the top part of the map. I have like OCD with like maps. They need to be like, cleared out. I don't like having empty, like, dark spots on my maps. I'm getting really hungry. Uh, I've got half the day left. Okay. There's food everywhere. 